Alrighty guys, welcome back. Earlier we were discussing um, the NBA to reassess the G League in the wake of name, image, and likeness. And now we're going to be talking about a Texas man who has uh, broken the record for a half marathon while dribbling a basketball. So, Is that really a category? Yeah, I guess so. I... <laughs> Or is this the category of those who, people who do not have dates? <laughs> is this one of those categories so again? So I watched um, a bit of the guy doing it. I don't think like everybody else was dribbling a basketball during the half marathon, but he was doing it. So I'll I'll give you a little bit of background okay. information. Um, so a Texas man broke a Guinness World Record when he finished a half marathon with a time of 1 hour, 21 minutes, and 39 seconds while dribbling a basketball. Ben Duong, uh, 24, a gra graduate student at the University of Texas at San Antonio, finished 12th in a half marathon at Sunday's Austin Marathon with the average pace of 6 minutes and 14 seconds per mile. Um, he was greeted at the finish line by by San Antonio Spurs mascot, the Coyote. The Austin Spurs, uh, an NBA G League affiliate team from San Antonio Spurs, celebrated Duong's accomplishment on social media. They said, we're honored for the opportunity to unite people through unforgettable experiences in the community. Um, the previous record for fastest half marathon dribbling a basketball is two hours, three minutes, and it was set by Chi Kit Chung at the TCS Toronto Waterfront Marathon in October of 2023. I'm honestly kind of impressed. <laughs> I am not. You're that not? Is a, I almost fell asleep while you were reading this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Well. And then the fact. <laughs> no, I'm not attacking you, Faith. I'm talking, I'm talking about the event. Mm. The fact that the San Antonio Spurs mascot was there and all that, I'm like, why? They sponsored him, I believe. They sponsored him in the marathon. Okay. You're okay, tell me why you're impressed. I, enlighten me. I, I need to see the light here. Okay. Um, I'm four eleven, so one I can't run very fast. <laughs> and um also since I'm short, I never really like got into playing basketball because I was just like there's no yeah, point. Uh, I've got no luck in anything. I, no matter how good I get at whatever, my skills are just not going to be up to par for basketball. Oh, so, wow, that is so true. You got you know what? <laughs> listen, you could practice every single day, eight hours a day. No one is no one is saying, yeah, let's put faith on the team. <laughs> I that was last sucked. pick. I was last pick. <laughs> wow, <laughs> because you basketball never think team. about. Basketball, oh, that is, yeah, I can you totally see this You kind of need one. the height advantage for basketball. Yes, um, that's important. Probably out of, uh, let's say, maybe 10 uh, sh uh, shots at the free throw line with me, I will maybe, maybe make one. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> it's Yikes. Like one in 10, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, damn. Um, okay. So... So you have a different respect for people that can play basketball and all that. And yeah, and absolutely. So, and I, like, I can dribble a basketball. It's not hard to dribble a basketball. I'm not good at dribbling mm. a basketball, though, because I don't do it. That's not, that's not a sport that you've been, yeah. you know, you didn't play a lot of basketball. So the fact that this guy is aver, adjuring, oh, averaging. <laughs> Okay, I have no clue what word you are trying to averaging, say here. Averaging. Averaging. Okay, Sorry. averaging. Okay, okay. You um, lost me for a second there. The fact that he's aver... Okay, forget it. Um, the fact that he's averaging what? Six minutes and 14 seconds per mile while also dribbling a basketball. To me, that's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> because... My so you're mile... living vicariously through him. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah, because my mile... Even like when I used to run a lot, I could never get my mile down less than like 
nine minutes just because of how short my legs are and I can only go so fast, you know? So. Wow, yes. So, and this dude is doing it while dribbling a basketball. So I can, I can try to yeah, see. And he finished 12th in a half marathon doing. And, okay. I can see where you're coming from with this yeah. one. I'm looking at it like, come on, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> you know, <laughs> I wasn't saying I was falling asleep because of the way you were reading this story. I'm falling asleep just on his decisions in life. That's what I was kind of bashing him for. <laughs> and it's kind of cool to see someone else's perspective. I I'm think a person, it's impressive. <laughs> I can dribble a basketball. I can play basketball. I'm not going to be in the G League anytime soon, but I can play <laughs> basketball. So that shows you I'm a, I'm a long way from the G League, and I'm definitely 2 million miles from the NBA, but I can play basketball or used to. Let's let's mm. not even kid ourselves. Let's throw Tate on the court this week. If you put me on the court stream. right now, I'm telling you, just <laughs> thinking about walking past the door of a basketball court, my hip, back, and knees are hurting <laughs> right now. Scoliosis is kicking in right there. I don't even have scoliosis, but just walking to the court, I would develop it. Uh, gosh. So, once upon a you know once upon a time I could play basketball, but I don't feel like that should be a category. In the Guinness Book of World Record, there are some impressive things in the world to do. I feel like running a marathon, you know, you're bouncing a basketball. I feel I put that in the same category as running a half marathon while tossing a yo-yo. You yeah, know, I can't put them in the for... same category. He did that for basically like an hour and a half straight of just. That's a half marathon, but 13 miles, 13 and a half. I, I'm not the person to ask. <laughs> yes, I, I think it's right around that. Uh, marathon is like 20, 26 miles or something like that. So it's like 13 miles or that's, I am not the marathon man. So ooh, I'm that not sounds bad. <laughs> <laughs> move on from that statement anyway but you know you're going through you know yes it's an, it's an impressive skill because you got to bounce and run and things like that and you're combining two skills at once but I just feel like when you think about the Guinness Book of World Records I've felt this for a long time I just want to take a sharpie and just start scratching out categories in it because you know there's i feel like there's categories that should be like mind-blowing like whoa that's impressive mm -hmm. running a half marathon about dribbling i get you i get you. i can see it your side now because mm -hmm. you know someone but you know and it, yes you have to run a half marathon is tough you have to you have to have a certain level of skill, uh, endurance. You, you, you don't wake up and get off the couch and say, "Hey, I'm gonna run a half marathon today." <laughs> that's that's the that's the thing I am impressed with. Mm -hmm. um, dribbling a basketball, there does take a little bit of skill with that as well. A lot of skill. I mean, you, you're you're really dribbling a, dribbling a basketball over ten miles. Um, look up how long, do you mind looking up how long, how far a, a half marathon is? Because to, I do, I do respect the fact that you have to have that skill and you have to get to, you know, because you, you foul the ball off, it goes rolling off. The next thing you know, your, your, your world record is over. It's a uh, 13 miles. It's a half so marathon. I was right. So a marathon is 26 miles and a half marathon is 13. 13 is a long well, yes. I that's what that's what I have the respect for <laughs> is going 13 miles. That mm -hmm. is, you know, I talk about sometimes on some of our walks that we do. I'm walking and I'm I'm worn out on an eight mile walk. Mm -hmm. That's a that's a long way. So, you know, it does take talent. It does take skills. Um, are you a are you a person that's kind of into the the Guinness Book of World Records and some of the things that's in there. No, 
not really. I think when I was younger, I thought like some of that stuff was cool, but some of the things that are in there are just really like weird and out of this world. That's what I'm talking about. I want a Sharpie to take some of these out of your record book. <laughs> So, like, I don't know if you've ever seen the lady who has, like, the longest, like, fingernails and toenails. Okay. Uh, that woman, it used to be a man. Uh-huh. I remember seeing the man a long time ago. And their nails are all long and this and, and that. Carly. And, yes, let's switch up to them. <laughs> there are certain things in life you're committed. Now, see, that takes dedicating, dedication and commitment. Because there are certain things in life that you're just not able to do anymore. <laughs> you, you understand where I'm getting at? What happens when it's like, hey, I got to go to the bathroom? That's Oh, sister see, scissor hands over here. What yeah. are you doing? How I wondered that as well. Business? I wondered that as well. <laughs> you know? You can't, do you take her, you know, you, you're like, hey, let's go to the sushi restaurant. All right, you they can't don't give her need, They don't need chopsticks. <laughs> they got, the, they they the... got built-in chopsticks. And, like, <laughs> 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 and it's like, no, I'm not sharing. I'm not sharing my Philadelphia role with you. No. Yeah. I don't know, you know, how clean are these nails? You're, we're, mm -hmm. we're not eating at the table. <laughs> we're not, you're not touching my food. You're not picking mm -hmm. up my my sushi roll, and they're creepy in general, right? The, the, you know, you're sitting, like, let's say you go, your your best friend, you invite Becky to dinner, and she's like there, you know, we're, you know how much we like Becky. You know what's, okay, you know what's so funny? Neither of us know a Becky. At all, zero. <laughs> I do not know a Becky anywhere. And so That's... just the fact that we throw the name Becky out, like, <laughs> We don't know anyone named Becky. <laughs> oh, we're always throwing Becky under the bus. Mm -hmm. So, but you're we're inviting Becky to dinner, and you're you're setting you're setting up at, at Sizzler. <laughs> I've never been. Have I ever been to Sizzler? I think I've been to Sizzler once in my entire life. I don't life. even know what Sizzler is. So it's a it's like I think it's a defunct. Uh, what is it like? Is it a steakhouse? It used to be a steakhouse or something. I have never been, I've been to Scissor once, I think. And mm -hmm. I think they had like a salad bar. I had that, uh, something. But if you're hanging out with someone and they got those world record fingernails, isn't that kind of creepy? And it doesn't that kind of be like, I don't really want to go anywhere with her. You're, you're, you're kind of yeah. embarrassed to be around her, right? Yeah. Are you I, inviting I would, her over? I wouldn't think those people had a lot of friends. <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot of friends, not a lot of dates. That's what I'm saying. That's, I kind of feel like that's what the Guinness Book of World Records have kind of gotten themselves into. These weird kind mm -hmm. of, I hate to say freakish categories that no one really cares about except for like two people. If you're growing your toenails out and you're growing your fingernails out and they're like two, three feet long, you made a bad decision in life. Your social <laughs> calendar is now free. You made a bad <laughs> decision in life. <laughs> There's consequences and repercussions for your decisions. And that you is true. Growing your, you're growing your, you're sitting at home eating chicken nuggets and eating your, eating your dino nuggets and, and, and drinking your Yoo-Hoo drink and you're growing your toenails out to six feet long there's a consequences for that. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's why I want to go through with a Sharpie and just start eliminating categories <laughs> for the Guinness Book and World Record. And I am sorry, man who dribbles for 13 miles, you're getting a Sharpie too, bro. I'm, I'm taking you off the list. But Faith may erase it and put you back in there. Faith is yeah, keeping it in. I think it's impressive. That's just me. <laughs> no, it's, no, 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 no. <laughs> Even the woman growing her nails out so long, that's impressive. You look at her like, wow, that's weird, freaky. See you later. Let's go to Sizzler. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. 
So. All right, guys. Well, with that, we're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to dive into our oddities of the day.